Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. Zach Stumpy has not broken my headphones. We we tried to record this already, and that happened. Little Z. First time we tried to record, I sat down and broke everything. Yep. Pop it one. I've got the dirty grippers out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still free balling, even though I, well, I suppose it's the first time you're hearing this. Maybe the second. Let us know in the comments. I think these are the most underdogs feet. Or I guess pause. Pause. We've ever had yeah, the most on the podcast at once. Yeah, Jackson, you're letting down the team. Do I need to get mine out? Maybe. Yes. Uh, that is a, a, stay later, especially our audio listeners. Stay later. <laughs> you can. You'll be able to hear how good. I'll Congress rub them are. against the carpet. Well, why don't we just describe each other's feet for the audio listeners? Seeing this no, is our second episode that is on, is on the audio. Yeah, on, we on need audio to describe platforms. it. That's Jordan's. true. We're on Spotify, iTunes, and actually, guys, uh, head on over there, check it out because you'll get your podcasts a day or two earlier. If you listen uh, just with audio. All right. So let's get a description. Jordan, first, you said you wanted to do dirty Jordan's grippers. first. Yeah, they're um, dirty. They're muddy. There's why are they muddy? A full, I, I don't know. know. I think we did a video today, Zach. Do you remember That's when we were? Um, they're very hairy. By the way, guys, if you can't tell, we don't have too much to talk about this <laughs> week, but it's still going to be a great podcast. We've got a few improv, improv games. So honestly, the ones where we're just making it up as we go, but the best podcasts. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, how anyway, are your back, feet, Peter? Back to the floor of me. Zach's toenails are pretty long, i got to say. Those big toes. Oh, yeah. Damn. My, my big toes need a trim. You, you could, like, kick someone and it would cut them. I recently trimmed my pinky finger. That's a lie. I bit it and oh, I fucking, I like, ripped you. half of it off. Oh, yeah. oh, wait. That's very short. Your nails are always so short. You're too much of a biter. Too, I am. Too bitey. How do you bite it so close? See, I bite, oh, but too deliberately. Many nail biting finishes in Smash. Oh, see, I always just that win. I'm watching, uh-huh. I guess, because <laughs> I, I, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. be playing. <laughs> uh, maybe scratch that. I was using a slime controller. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good call, good call. Uh, and then Peter's feet, uh, definitely the most veiny. Oh, you've the got t- the thing where your second toe is longer than your first toe. Oh yeah, you do. Oh, Wait, you, you do not? No, mine. Look how what perfectly the hell? lined like my slope. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's are, supposed to I be. I think that most people's are like that. I think mine are more common than those ones. No, no way. So. It's called Guys, a big leave, toe. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. What well, pokes out for you? Big call toe it a big toe. toe if it's well, not it's the big biggest toe. Because it's wide. Oh, Jackson's got his off. Mine are in line. Jackson, why do you? Ooh. Why are your toes webbed? What do you mean? I thought that was like a really rare condition. Is well, that six? No, yeah, I've got six, six toes. toes? And not all of them are webbed though. So it's not that weird. Most people got a few webbed toes. That green pus is a bit weird though. Some people do have webs. What about green pus? Ooh. Is that bad? Ooh, yeah. Is that enough foot talk for for now? For uh, now, not for the podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, but stick around to the a, end if you want a bit more. A teaser. If you are absolutely into this in a really weird way, stick around to the end of the podcast. If you're not into this, please stick around anyway. Uh, go to the Patreon. We'll do an hour of feet talk. No, we won't. <laughs> That's just a lie. That's false advertising. You can't do that. I'll do it and upload it. All right. That's not a problem. All right. Well, I guess I could talk about. I had a pretty bad day today. And yesterday. Wait, today you've just been hanging out with us? No, oh, that was a bit before. That was a bit okay. before. So Where you mostly <laughs> just with us. Got worse. Well, you know, because you got in the car and then you were like... Oh, because I got in the no, car, no, no, made no. your day bad. But my, my cable didn't work, right? And then, mm. I don't know, no one said my car was smelly, but I thought it was smelly. Did anyone notice that my car was smelly? Maybe like a little bit. Maybe it was you. I, I didn't want to say anything because I just thought yeah. you fucking ju- dropped a cheeky one. All right, well, it starts off yesterday. I'm okay. walking around. I've lost my phone. Where is it? Don't know. I try in your car. And I that's tried. the popper one question of the week. <laughs> I tried to do, do <laughs> it's my phone. Do you guys ever try to do anything where like find my device and it rings? Yeah. Yeah. It's very handy. Do that. No rings. Anywhere. I go to the car, not ringing. I'm noticing the washing machine sounding awfully loud. We've hit act two in the yeah. story. So my phone was in the washing machine. <laughs> Conflict. Which really? Is, It'd be funny if it was just it, a 180. It, was like, <laughs> it wasn't oh, at it all. It was just my pants. But anyway, my phone was in the toilet. <laughs> but dude, I had to figure it out because when the washing machine, you can't just open the door. It doesn't let you. At least for mine. Mine's like a front loader. Well, it's got to drain first. Exactly. If you stop it, it's got to take a minute. So I'm like trying to open the door. Like my phone's in there. I'm trying to unlock it. I'm trying to like, what's the secret code to unlock the door i don't want to wait the next 45 minutes as it flings around to finish the cycle you can't pause yours you can pause it you can't it doesn't let you open the door i will after a bit for next time oh you don't want it soaking in the water 
Put rice in the laundry detergent spot. Oh, and keep putting it in a drain. Yeah, get more and more rice, and then it will absorb all the water. That is Do not you know how you got advice on. You got to put Do your not phone take in that rice. Ice. Anyways. Uh, Peter's given me this nod and he's a science guy. Oh, okay. Never, oh, I was wrong. Sorry. I figured it out. I had to use my brain and it was like, oh, no. it was like, um, <laughs> set it to spin cycle only, yeah. then tell it not to spin. And then it just drained the water and opened. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm a genius. Uh, Took it out. Phone. Yeah. Kind of not working. <laughs> so because I'm, I'm such a genius. Anyway, my phone was fucked. <laughs> yeah. Phones do not like washing machines, apparently. Um, oh, no. But it, it, it started working after a while. I put it in some rice and I'm like, okay, the phone is back to normal. It's all good. Turns out one feature was missing. So then today, low on petrol, go to the petrol station, go to pay for the petrol. No. <laughs> the phone does not work. It works completely fine for everything other than paying. Paying. Like I have my cards on there. It doesn't work. And I'm yeah. like, oh, this is awkward. Jordan, and- if you need a loan, you can just ask <laughs> So then I'm in an awkward situation. I'm at the petrol station. I can't pay. And I'm just looking at the guy. And then... You've already... Date. They're not taking the petrol back. I know. And we had a timely video today that I did not want to be late for. Yeah. And go back home and get my card and then come back. But I asked him, can I do that? And then he brought out this form, yeah. which I guess is a thing. I don't know if any of you guys... I've done this before, yeah. My I've phone heard died. about this too. Yeah. It's like a form. And then he was like, oh, I feel like this form before you go home and come back. But the form says, like, you have 12 hours to pay. So I was like, oh, I just won't go home and come back. So I've got to, mm. I can't stay here too long. I need to be back at the petrol station <laughs> to pay it off. But yeah, I had to fill that out. And then. Is that why Jackson hates filling up with petrol so much? It's one of the several reasons, yeah. Yeah? A bit of, uh, like, PTSD? Yeah. Actually, it wasn't as stressful as I thought it was going to be. Like Post traumatic <laughs> servo disorder. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be really bad, but the form just kind of makes it fine. Oh, yeah, you just fill out a form and it says, I'll pay this within 12 hours. Yeah. Here's my license yeah. number. Yeah, yeah, or else we know who you are. Yeah, exactly. So I've got to do that later. But and my phone has slowly been dying throughout the day. Yeah. And it started going green and just not working at all. Yeah. Also, it was pretty funny. The audio sounds really bad, but I, I tried to just blast some YouTube music. Yeah. And then water started flying out my phone. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Well, out the speakers. You shook the speakers out. Out the speakers. It, like, Holy shit. Miley Cyrus was... Just, Banging out flowers and then it was like <laughs> <laughs> Is your phone waterproof? Clearly not very. Well, it's like, pretty good if it's still managing to live when there's water up in the speakers. Yeah, but it's then the the, the cameras fogged up with it's it's slowly breaking throughout today. I've noticed if I look at it, it's like completely green now. It's on its last legs. Where's the green coming from? Sorry, green. That's what I'm saying. Like the screen. I'll see if it's still green. It's a green screen. There's a green screen. No, it goes like that pale green. Oh, wait, it's back to working again. Oh, okay. oh well, that's why it sucked. Put oh, it behind wait. me. I'll be in space. It's a green screen. Like, Thanks, guys. Yeah, anyway. And then, so yeah, I'm Audio on the way. Listeners, I got a high five for that. It was, a pity, it was a pity high it five. It was a terrible high five. And the fact that you had to tell me we got a high oh, five for it made it so much worse. You can hear a high five on an audio podcast. Now I've got so a story. Bad. I'm having a bad day. I'm getting bullied. <laughs> but guys, the story isn't over yet. So I'm driving. After all that ordeal, I'm on the way. Okay, it's all sorted. I'll pay it later. Mm -hmm. Glug, 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 glug. What's that sound? Look over. My coffee has spilled in my car. The the little, the little handle thing, the little where you put your cup. It was too big for the petrol station cup and it fell out onto the cable that we'll get to later. (laughs) And then my cable was getting glugged on by coffee and I couldn't believe it. Glugged. Too Electrical devices lost to liquid in two days. This sounds like some kind of um. What are the machines where like one thing hits another and then hits another? A Rube Goldberg. Domino. Rube Goldberg. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I was thinking of a Rube Goldberg machine. <laughs> Domino's is a good answer. Domino's is also that would valid. be way higher on Family Feud. Oh, yeah. Domino's. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Then a Whoopi well, Goldberg. I guess it is a bit of a Domino uh, yeah, effect. A Whoopi Goldberg machine. <laughs> yeah, it's just like one thing's led to another, led to another. I know. It's just so that's where I'm at, but I'm a bit excited now. I was talking to Jackson. I, I'm, I think I'm just going to buy a new phone that's really bad, but has what? a lot of battery. I reckon no, that's the way. you can't do stuff. Like what? Take photos? Yeah, I never take photos. No, but like don't get any of the apps. Like you were, go, can't you get Messenger? Twitter? Oh, I want at least Messenger. Yeah, you kind of like the cheap ones, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if anyone can recommend phone? me a cheap no, phone. No, I don't have one. I've just talked about oh. it a lot. <laughs> Jordan, you should get a phone with nothing. I'm sick of getting messaged by you. <laughs> okay, we I just can't have do no contact. <laughs> and a phone, I, I reckon, a phone where you can actually take the battery out. Surely yeah, they still good. exist. That's good. Dude, 
What do you mean? You can't take the batteries out. Yeah, they're, oh, yeah. they're glued. And I want a car without airbags. No, what like, are you talking about? Okay, no, no, Zach, no, no, you, no, no. Leap of logic. <laughs> no, no, no. Your, your no, line no, no, is not right. right. No, see, this phone, I can't just replace the battery if the battery's starting to get bad. Yeah, but my point is uh, the batteries can't be taken out because they're so much better. No. no. No, they make it so you can't take it out, so you have to buy so a, new to buy a new phone, so you can't just do you that. Just uh, it's the predatory bullshit. There's no reason for it. You, They've the outboard week. it in some places. The battery it's being good does not affect how the case is put on over the top of the I imagine battery. there's so much shit jam-packed into phones now that like they can't make it just easy pop out the battery. Cap. But popping it off it doesn't add anything. You're, you're, you're a slave to the system, yeah, that's bro. A I was under there, so. that impression. A consumer. Consumer. All you need to do is have it slide off. That's pretty easy. Then how'd they used to do it? But anyways, that's my story. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Wait, we never got to this cable. No, I said the cable, the coffee. The, the cable. Well, the coffee doesn't work now. The cable's fucked. The, yeah, the, the cable There was work. payoff. It just wasn't very good. <laughs> yeah. Jordan says, like, I was saying, like, uh, can I play some music in the car? <laughs> oh, yeah. I realize I shouldn't have let you use the cable now, thinking about it more. Thanks. Uh, so Jordan, I was like, can I play some music? He's like, oh, I got an adapter here. And then I like plugged it in and he was like, oh, it might not work. I'll tell you about that on the podcast. <laughs> and then I was like, why does it say moisture detected in my charging port? <laughs> yeah, so I'm sorry. I hope it's fine. No, it, it'll be okay. okay. I've done much worse to my phone. Like throw it at a wall. Yeah, that's what I said. Jordan was like, my phone's not working. I'm like, did you throw it at a wall? And he was like, no. And I'm like, well, then you're not the stupidest person here at least. So that's fine. I've dropped mine in the toilet. It's just pretty oh, bad. I did that too. Oh, grim. I got it. It was the day after I got it. I took it back to Apple and they were like, it's really, I was like, that's really weird. It just stopped working. There's lots of moisture. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, there's water in the battery. I was like, what? That's, that's weird. And there's a big shit. turd sitting on it. What yeah. the fuck is that about? Why is there poo it in your phone? It smells like shit. Um, and they were like, I was like, like oh, I guess I'll just get a new one. They're like, oh, I suppose. Like, could just clearly tell I was lying, but Apple's pretty good like that. <laughs> yeah. So if you drop it in the toilet and you've got an Apple phone, well, take I, it in. I did that once. When, and it happened to be when I had Campylobacter, which is like What's a- that? So it's, it's a food poisoning. Similar to salmonella. It's, it's very bad food poisoning. Ooh. And it was a bit of a swamp situation in the toilet. And I dropped my phone oh. in. And the uh, Leave it. luckily it landed face up. So it was pretty much just on the case. So that case was immediately fucking outlawed. Yeah, yeah fucking sent somewhere. Uh, what are you never guys doing to return. when you do that? I How think do you, fell like, out of you my take pocket your as photo of up. your swamp shit? Nah, I'm trying uh, to take a pocket. ball pick. Maybe not at that point, but I've definitely taken <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> Once no. I shat green because I had a blue and yellow minion slushy and it had to be documented. <laughs> Science. The blue and yellow slushy made a green poo and I just had to keep that one. It had to be documented. Or what? <laughs> well, <laughs> have you looked at the picture since? No, but Maddie, Maddie wanted to see it. Oh, Did you show no. it to her? Yeah. Well, there you go. Wait, why'd you throw your phone at a wall? It wasn't that great. <laughs> why'd you throw your phone when at when a did wall? your phone get thrown at a wall? Uh, I was trying to get it in a toilet, but <laughs> 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 happens. I don't know. Why does someone put their phone in the washing machine? What you're trying to clean out your no, photos? That is an accident. Put it that in. is not an accident. How do you? Act? You're, you're not. You're not playing GTA where you accidentally press X instead of O and you throw <laughs> something. I'm trying to watch Breaking Bad instead of drop phone in toilet. Oh! <laughs> um, did you want to test if your case was as good as they said? Yeah, that time when I threw it into a wall. was that? Uh, We've told that story have before, we? though. Oh, sorry. I remember it. Well, what are My we bad. dredging up? Uh, Let's talk more about what, what, Jordan in the washing machine. Yeah, I mean, idiot. I just chucked uh, it in. I did, yeah. Idiot. Uh, I do fear of doing that. I put the washing machine on, then I immediately go and find my phone. Yeah. Oh really? It's like the first thing I do because I have like paranoia about that. Well, now I might. I never had it before. Yeah, and every time. Now look at me. I hear it go click, and I go shit. Where's my phone? I go look for it. I don't think I've I've never put my phone through the washing machine, but my wallet's gone through oh. at least three times. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! You but put, lucky so Australian money is pretty. Gangster. Yeah, it's fine. I saw this post recently about like Chad Australian money versus yeah. Virgin Australian US money. Australian money's crazy. American money, like they're all the same size, same color, like. Uh, same width and all that but like Australian money they're all different sizes so that if you're like blind or visually impaired you can tell they're all different colours they're all plastic so they don't go bye bye and you can't like burn it how do the vending machines tell in America isn't that how they I tell I think they Australia? are slightly different sizes aren't they they have to be or maybe they've got some imprints on them because yeah. otherwise like how would money sorting machines work and yeah. stuff like that they, I, I remember it being very hard when yeah, I yeah, been probably to America be though obvious. because like you got to go fishing around. It's like, and they have a one dollar note too. So it's like, oh, is this a hundred or one dollar? <laughs> like, you don't want to make that mistake. Yeah, I can see people make that mistake quite easily. Yeah, 
This is ours are very want. obvious what they are. Yep. Like, you know, it's pretty good. Yeah, big yellow 50 or a little. But Although Coney, say does, uh, Coney makes fun of us for saying it's Monopoly money, which I can also see. Yeah. It well. does look like a kind of like kiddie bucks when you compare it to... Like, whenever I want to use money in like a YouTube video graphic, it's always like American dollars in like the thumbnail. Yeah. When do you ever see... Some green. Like That's just because there's more Americans, right? Yeah. yeah Australian money is probably better clickbait. It's nice and colourful. Yeah, but you might not know what it is. Oh, true. Right. I can give it a test. True that. Someone give it a test. Someone let us know. Um, what am I wearing, Zach? <laughs> no underwear. Correct. And? Track, You're looking at my track penis. Suit pants. Yep. Oh, okay. My tracksuit pants. No. And what's my shirt? White turtleneck. Because I'm taking this shit seriously, guys. I'm here and I'm not effing around anymore. I want to let you all know. And mostly at the the viewers, the listeners know that now we're on Spotify. I'm not effing around anymore. So oh, you got to yeah, dress nicely for, the, for Spotify. I wasn't here for the first one. So that just, doesn't I, make sense. I brought the shirt to let everyone know. Sorry, let me describe it again. Yeah. Uh, Cogger, what, what are you wearing? You're wearing uh, some fantastic New Balance shoes mm-hmm. and they match the tracksuit pants with a uh, not-too-colourful sock in between. Great mm. match. Grey tracksuit pants and then just a perfectly snug fit of the white turtleneck. Honestly, looking like he's going to change the game, entrepreneurize some <laughs> new businesses. And describe the cologne. Uh, the scent I'm getting, uh, trying to ignore Jordan over there. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> you're the one that said your car smelled. Oh, I forgot. Oh, the, the story. The story oh, goes we'll on. We'll just finish oh, this okay. up real quick. Hey, this is a really good segment. Wait your turn, mate. <laughs> this is the best shit ever. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Explain the cologne. Yeah, yeah, um, there's cologne. I don't know, man, but the pheromones <laughs> I'm getting is making me... Uh, Supports really in know. your jeans. Yeah, don't have cross legs for no reason. Okay, Jordan. So I'm in the car. <laughs> the, cof- the coffee has filled up the cup holders yeah. because it's been glugging out, and that wouldn't happen to me. Wait, sorry. So the co- this, the coffee was left unattended, or you just never picked it up? Well, I'm driving, and then I hear glug 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 glug, and I look over, and it's like, oh shit! So then I pick it up, okay. but it's already made a bit of a, a bit of a mess, a bit, bit of, of a pool. swimming pool in the two conjoined cup holders, and I'm like, that is gonna go. Go really bad. bad. It's milk. So you drank it. I can't leave that there. <laughs> he drank it. I didn't know what to do. He I, drank uh, it. There's some. No, nah, I didn't drink it. But there's rubbish in my car. Perfect. I'm like kind of using it to absorb the <laughs> coffee. Just drank it. Like Mac I'm using bad. exactly. Yeah. I'm like, just shoving it all, and it's absorbing it slowly. But now, smart. <laughs> I'm in my car. <laughs> just soggy rubbish. And it's in a the bunch car. of soggy, disgusting rubbish. And I know that we're going to take my car to lunch. Yep. Because that's what we do. I did and not then know they're this. all going to smell. We have a few other cars. They're all, but no, but Jackson doesn't have his car. Peter's only got two seats, and you got some dog stuff in the back. So we always go in my car, yeah, and it's some. It's I don't want to have old cheese or old cow. Yeah, piss. luckily it's not hot today. Just give it milk as a piss. <laughs> if, if it was hot, it would stink. I, and, and it's disgusting. And I've got it all in my car, and I'm driving. And I don't know what to do with all this stuff. And this is one of the rare scenarios where I'm just like, I have to litter. You litter. I have to litter. You litter bug. And I'm looking around, and then there's no good spot to litter because. <laughs> That's what, because what is a good whole spot look like? Beautiful. Well, if there's all litter everywhere, you just it's not that yeah. bad. Add it to the pile. True. Add it if to the pile. At, if you're at the tip, there's enough other rubbish. You're exactly. like, like driving so goddamn like right. Baby kangaroos and shit. And Dude, like, I'm driving. Well, I can't chuck anything out the window here. Yeah, I was driving. I'm like, shit. Australia does a pretty good job at not littering. Yeah. It, in Australia, we have lots of like. In between roads is like grass and trees and yep. shit. And I'm looking around. There's not a litter inside. There's like birds and green grass. I'm like, I can't just chuck this. And so I just <laughs> had to, I just had to cop it. I just kept it in the car. I couldn't bring myself oh, to dude. do it. On ya. And I chucked it in your bin, Zach, out of the front. Actually, no, I you chucked it in, in. No, 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 I chucked it in your neighbor's bin. Actually, we, oh, perfect. Because I was like, <laughs> I don't want to smell up. We Zach's never bin. have enough space in our bin. Yeah, I chucked it in your neighbor's bin. So yeah, too many fucking. Three hundred dollar toaster rubbish packages that I need yeah to. too much all this stupid Amazon shit packages. Amazon. that people make me buy off Amazon. <laughs> Although I haven't done those videos in ages, so. yeah, it's probably a reason for that. Your bin was too full. <laughs> yeah, but what I've still got the cardboard cutout of the Queen. She just yeah, like, Danny DeVito is also in the recording studio. She there. greets people like they're just they're part of the house until you get used to it. It's actually quite alarming having a yeah. life size cardboard cutout because you see them out the corner of your eye and you think someone's there, and it happens for like the first few hours of having it at least, and then like it's Wait, actually do you have one. No, no, but I remember. Do you remember the first time we were recording here? Oh, and you just yes. be like, Ooh, like, yeah, every, like yeah, a I tiny bit every yeah. few minutes. And I it's got like, s- it's so confusing. I got so fucking scared by Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> she's just like, the pose there is she's like standing there and waving. 
Rest in peace. But uh, every time I turned around from like, Respect. I don't know why, but I just like put her behind where I would usually edit. And then it's like, oh, there we go. Done with work for the day. I'd turn around and she's right there in my face. <laughs> and I'd go like, ah, like every single time. I think you got to start putting him around the house to like, you know, put him in like Nick's room when he opens his door. <laughs> and and like, move yeah, them, you yeah. know, like in the carport and stuff. Just every day put in a different spot to prank someone. That would scare the shit out of me. But that's a very funny idea. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, I kind of feel bad because it is really freaky. Like if yeah. it's at night and like, you know, Nick Elizabeth. or Maddie was opening a random door and then the queen was there. Yeah, you can't be that scared when it's a couple cut out of Danny DeVito. Like, that's not really that alarming. <laughs> yeah. But at night, it would just kind of look like a shadowy figure, wouldn't it? Yeah. Although, and then they could punch it in the face and that'd be really funny as opposed to, like, a crime. Yeah. Like, if if I hid behind the door and got punched in the face, <laughs> like, it's, it's kind of, like, bad for me. Is it a hate <laughs> crime to punch a couple cut out of someone you don't like? Uh... I have no idea how hate crime works. Yeah, me neither. Like, what if I was really, like, what's if I the really lowest disliked someone? Crime. What's the lowest hate if crime I say possible? I hate you. Is that a hate crime? No, well, but then if you got a couple of cats like and started going to town on it, I'd be a little bit scared. I think doing that publicly would be bad. And it's right. like a threat. Well, yeah. my plan was to just put these cardboard cutouts in the cardboard box crusher at the recycling plant. Uh-huh. Yeah. So watching like <laughs> Queen Elizabeth get crushed in the back of this you're truck. Like, rest in peace. And the next minute you're just like, get with the, with the boxes, bitch. I mean, Danny DeVito's going in there too. So it's not like Daddy it's not DeVito. like I'm doing it Daddy, because. Daddy, 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 Daddy DeVito. I think you may have. Oh well, I'm telling. I guess that's it. That slipped yeah. out. He's my dad. How much do these cardboard cutouts cost? Uh, like 60 to 70 bucks. What the it's fuck? Quite a bit. Yeah. What the They're hell? pretty detailed though. I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> it's, it's a piece of paper and no, a cardboard. It's a photo. You need a printer and you're done. Yeah, that's true. True. I've never felt more like I knew the queen. <laughs> and I'll never get to meet get her to now. see every wrinkle. Ouch. Does that upset you? No. <laughs> oh, I guess I should say yes for yeah, the story. Yeah, I thought so. In case for I the Commonwealth, I should say yes. Mm. Bloody hell. Let's do it now, yeah. YouTube yeah. video, uh, returning the queen to England. Don't do that. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> She's coming home, lads. <laughs> I, I'd have Get to, the fuck out. I'd have to bring her on the plane and it's just like... Would you buy her a seat or is she sitting on your lap? I mean, she surely um, gets a seat. She's a queen. She gets a seat. She's she a queen. She's a seat first class, bro. It's the queen. She's fucking cardboard. Yeah, and she's not paying for it, though, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> fucking stingy bitch. That's fucking taxpayer money. I know. Think of how much... Actually, maybe I'll call... What's his name? Henry. The Empire. Hen- I'll call Henry and get him. No, it's yeah. not Henry. Henry, you got Charles. Charles. I'll call Charlesy and he can pay for the seat. What's the word I'm looking Darth for? Darth Vader. Not, not, not the no. Empire. You're what? thinking of the monarch. Yeah, the monarchy. Yeah. Is that right? I think so. Not the Empire. The, emp- the Empire. <laughs> I mean, the it empire is an Empire, will right? strike back at me when they see me bringing the Queen on the plane. Maybe they'll appreciate it. Did they disband the Empire when they stopped trying to take people over? As in England, yeah, the oh. British British Empire. <laughs> I reckon it's I think a, it is the British Empire. I reckon maybe. it's a rare good. Think, what is though the Queen cardboard cutout? The they're Queen not, is a rare they're good. They're not making them anymore. Oh yeah, I reckon oh, you could make good, one, but you probably could just ask someone to make one. You just they got a Google image. Oh yeah, but how much Google <laughs> image. Oh fuck! It's like you you know, it's like it. the NFT thing all over yeah. again. It's like this is what a guy never tell you, and then you copy paste it. You're like not screenshot. Anymore. Yeah, <laughs> too bad, buddy. Um, all right, we have some would you rather's. Would Let's you guys like to do those now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, if you would like to leave a would you rather for next week, we may or may not answer it. We'll see yes. how we go. If it's any good, we would like to. We'll be asking but the patrons actually. So we'll if you're ask a the patron, patrons. We'll, we'll listen to the patrons. Yes. But feel free to leave a comment, and we might take some because I do read the comments anyway. All right. Um, I'll start. Uh, what a one to start on. Um, would you rather? Talk like a minion whenever you have a boner. That. <laughs> Zach already does that. <laughs> <laughs> How do the minions actually talk? <laughs> Banana. Banana. <laughs> and you can't say any real words the whole time you have a boner. The entire Sorry. time you have a boner. I think it's funny if you can. Like he's like, I have a Rick <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. Or maybe not. poo instantly every time you hear a dog bark. Oh, there's a dog oh that lives next door. Oh my god, I, I would am... definitely be talking like a minion. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's going to be talking like a minion. Yeah. No, but like, no, but like, like every bark, another shit comes out. Imagine. <laughs> oh yeah, what if no how chance? About how about it's one poo rat, per rat, dog? Rat. So Imagine you all dog. pass oh, a dog There's nothing left in there, then I guess you can't do it We'd all have to wear diapers to recording because we all get <laughs> greeted by Ollie. <laughs> well, I think I would die of like shitting, not dehydration. Enough... Yeah, is it dehydration? What happens if you just keep pooing? have nothing left to poo? 
Maybe I think if there's nothing left, you just don't poo. I could eat a lot. Could I eat more? I don't think you don't want to poo. I think you're better off joining Muslims in Ramadan. So, so you don't poo as much. Oh, right. So you can hear the dogs bark and you're like, the, the tank is empty. The tank's like already empty. There's no, there's yeah, it's trying out. its best, but there's nothing else. It's like, you see the fast. Yes. No, but that wasn't what Peter said. No, I said I said that if there's nothing in there, then you can't poo. Oh. What if you have a very tight anus and you oh, can't poo? Oh, no. What if you block your anus? Is Can we right? talk more about the minions? Yeah, so with the boner thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Sure. Yeah, but like, not only is it going to be in intimate situations, which is firstly going to be pretty awkward. <laughs> How's your minion dirty talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Secondly, are it's, it's going to say be a dead no. giveaway that you're going to like, if you ever like get a random one oh, at an event or something, that's true. and you start minion talking, and like, if you have a partner, they're going to know you took like a minion in bed. Yeah. They're going to be like, oh, what the, why now? You have to be single for the rest of your life. <laughs> Oh, I don't think so. I could. If you can't it. find a girl, oh, like, get if you a deaf girl. Love me at my oh, minion. Deaf girl. Get a deaf girl. Or oh, oh. boy, whatever your preference is. Ah, uh, or you could just find someone that would accept you for your minionness. But yeah, someone who's really into minions. Yeah. <laughs> Surely someone out there has a minion for oh, you. What? You guys aren't trying to keep your current partners and just convince them that it's how it happens from now nah, on. Immediately onto the deaf girl. <laughs> <laughs> what if you deafen your girlfriend? I think okay. <laughs> Let's hey, Peter, check out this new song. let's let's flip it on our head. Um, Sophie now talks like a minion during sex. Hot. Would you stay with her? I, I would. Yeah, you would stay with you Sophie. Stay. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like yeah, that is, yeah, that's true. That is yeah, not it's a not, deal. It's not a big thing. I feel like you get pretty sick of it though. Wait, yeah, you you I would get to sick. Talk. I would get sick of my partner shitting themselves well, every time we pass. You also just part. don't need to talk during sex. <laughs> you know what else? You know you when people ask like minion, you for surely. people ask you for like two truths, one lie, or like a fun fact. You never have to think. It's just like I talk like a minion when I get a boner. <laughs> yeah, they're like that's that going real. That's fucking. Would you hilarious. be telling people straight up? Yeah, I think why so. Why not? You got to accept it. That's your life. It's like, like owning. You're like you, you yeah. Yeah. Just don't talk during sex. They're like, oh, you, you like that, and you're like, no, no, no. All right. So we all taking the minion talk. Yeah, I think so. definitely. I, yeah, that one is pretty harsh. I do not see a way around the pooing. The pooing is rough. Just diapers. Uh, but you smell and you got Babies do it, them. old people do it. Just do it in the middle as well. All right. Would you rather <laughs> lay an egg every day <laughs> or always hear the faint noise of nails on a chalkboard? Oh, Where egg. does the egg come oh, out? Your butt. <laughs> Definitely an egg. Is and the it's, egg It's edible. an ostrich-sized egg. And oh. delicious, like chicken eggs? You can eat it. Yeah. But it has come out of your ass. Yeah. Okay. Wash he's, it off. He's eating other things. Yeah, rinse her off. I well, mean, it's sure, yeah. chicken's ass yeah, too. Have you seen yeah. how dirty eggs are before they wash them for Yeah, it's true. Supermarket? I mean, it doesn't surprise me. They they just have one hole, but... Yeah. I mean, oh, I wish you didn't tell me that. They have one hole. I'm trying yeah. to find the second one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's been my quest. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how faint is the chalk noise? Can you do it? I can't do the noise, but it's about this loud. No, that's, 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 so loud. Loud. that's too loud. That's so loud. We got headphones on. Dial it back. So loud. Is it really? Yeah, and it never ends. I take the egg. No, it's a source it'd of probably, money. Your brain is very good at tuning out things that are like happening. All That's the time. what I was thinking. You get used to it. Well. You, you get used to it. In the morning. Where the problem? Where the problem is is when your brain is creating the noise. But I think that if your ears are hearing it, your brain could easily tune it out. Because have you ever um like gone to a place that's like really silent, and then you can like hear your heartbeat and that? Yes, once I've or been. twice. Like or like. You can just like hear all this other stuff. I've heard about this, but yeah. I haven't really experienced it. Yeah, your brain usually tunes it out. Like, but then you does can it tune it out, or is there just more ambient noise, so you don't hear it? Yeah, normally it would be getting drowned out by the other noises. I think Jordan might be onto mm. this one. Nah, Damn. I guess nah. Your brain, egg? Egg? Your brain can do that. Though. I'm thinking about the egg, right? Yeah, it's random. Do I let you guys know that? You don't get random. You, like, chicken ostrich like it's coming? every time. Yeah, it's like kind of like a poo, I guess. Okay, oh. is it like? <laughs> I feel Just okay. So we tried to get off. How the painful? Our fans. It's pretty painful. Yeah, it's, it's painful, be. but you, your anus gets used to an it. ostrich. I was gonna say, like, it's it, it's your biological imperative to like reproduce, right? Mm -hmm. So I get the feeling that for chickens, yeah. laying an egg probably feels pretty good, like an orgasm. I don't think yeah. having a baby Did you is know very pleasant. Yeah, you only have, have to do hole. that once, like twice a oh, lifetime. But eggs, yeah, girls but if love having their day, periods. <laughs> they don't. Yeah, but that's because it's leaving. <laughs> 
That is the, the egg. egg we're not putting the egg in. No, that's the egg <laughs> leaving the, the girl's egg's body. Gotta go. Yeah. No, I'm saying when girls have their period, it's like, oh, you fucked up. You didn't get pregnant this month. Oh, it's like torture. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you yeah. feel pain oh, while you get wow. rid of this like ovum. How dare you? And then the True. egg is like, good job. And you're probably just gonna be like, oh, <laughs> when, when okay. it comes yeah. out. So I'm taking the egg. <laughs> One final question. Yeah. <laughs> you can ask as many as you want. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Final question. Ostrich egg, yes. Is the, egg, is the it. egg able to be fertilized by me? So, like, what? I can make a baby that's 100% my it's DNA? going to make a clone. Yeah. Would that be a clone? Uh, if just... you're fertilized, it'd be... It's like, I don't know. It's like yeah. asexual yeah, it reproduction, be. right? Yeah, it would be. It would be a clone. Yeah, so... Yeah. Um, Why would I not want that? Oh, it would be a mix-up. How could I ask for a be better clone. child? You can only yourself. fertilize it if you do it in the minion voice. <laughs> you have to do oh, the minion it's voice a toughie. while you fertilize the egg. I might go with the sound, actually. Clone. I might go with the sound. You go with the na- no- nails on the chalkboard. How so. big is an ostrich egg? Pretty big. Like uh, bigger than a tennis ball? Oh, my God. You've done the shape of a... It's like two hands together. Two big avocados. It's like two fists. Well, yeah, it's going to fit big. my clone inside. It's... Definitely bigger than an avocado. Yeah. Let I'll, me look I'll hear up. the sound, I reckon. Get rid of it after a while. At what age do I start laying eggs? Is uh, my newborn laying eggs? It's just from now on. So it's like when it I won't, It won't have affected your so life. So like 22? It's only... Just now. Now. Like, like today. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you have that's, had no practice? That's fine. <sighs> yeah? That's fine. <laughs> what do you mean I've had no practice? It's <laughs> 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 so like, that's fine. I've had bigger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I would have the egg just for the food, though. Come here, baby, like yeah, an ostrich egg. You'd die. Right, free eggs on toast every day? I would not eat your ass eggs. <laughs> See, okay, I'm not offering. <laughs> it's about the size that's of a hand, like real, stretched out. No, that's going to kill you. No, you'll get used to it. <laughs> he said we get used to it. Relax, dude. Um, You'd have to relax. It's if, fine. It's never going to yeah, come out Yeah, you can just take a few life. tablets while you're learning. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jordan, I think it's time for yours. Yeah. All right. Um, would you rather... Never ever be able to listen or hear music ever again, oh. or always, always what music? listen to or hear music. Uh, maybe it's like RNG. I don't think it's always just far. random RNG. music. Yeah, I would do that for sure. No, Forever. random random yeah. music is really bad on average. It'd probably like, be pretty hard to think as well. Have you guys ever got your Spotify hacked? No, I happened- remember your girls. Oh happened- yeah, your happened, happened to me once. Yeah, they listen to some trash. Well, now Maddie's Spotify has been hacked. What? So, well, you guys are gonna get some new passwords out here? I uh, know. Um, but yeah, the, it's the same thing. Someone's gone through liking a bunch of songs, and it's just like the most random shit you could find on Spotify. Like I, I don't know. It just sounds like other- random noises. It's not English. Too. No. It must be, yeah, another country. Well, it wasn't for mine. I don't know. Music really taste maybe. is so subjective. 100%. Like, you can, I can 100% feel that with music when you see what other people like that are not in your culture and stuff. It's crazy. Even yeah. within your culture, like, people listen to stuff I think is terrible and they love it. And I'm sure vice versa. So, mm. yeah. I'll listen to the music at all times. But everyone likes the Underdogs diss track coming out soon. I would listen to that all the time. I will. Oh, yeah, I, mean, we, I do this track only. Yeah. And if you missed uh, the Underdogs disc track, we did an audio preview on it only on the Spotify and audio episode last week. Oh, actually? That's yeah. sick. I wasn't here, guys. Yeah, yeah we did enough. plenty of yours, though. Yeah, yours, yours is still is a secret. <laughs> secret. Um, I would take probably never on this one. Uh, what are you trying to study? It's like, Thunderstruck. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm pumping. Bam, bam, Wait, what's the bam. volume? Wait, what is it? It's like, classic? um, is this loud? It's pretty loud. That's not very loud. I'd definitely do that. I would do that, I think. Uh, can wow. I? Wow. Oh, I wish I could choose the genre, though. I think classical music would be perfect. Oh, it would be. Because we're like, doing classical. And it goes for like four like hours. No words in that, and it can just be such good background music. I'm pretty sure the Overwatch guy, there's an Overwatch guy who like went crazy and always hears music now. I think it would drive you crazy. Whoa. Wait, he. Always hears music. I think so. And he goes, and makes what crazy. is that melody? When he holds people. Because he can hear Oh, shit. in the oh, video game. So it's a made oh up my character. God. Yeah, Overwatch. I, I, I said do, Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, I think they're the creator of Overwatch. <laughs> no, I thought you were and he's gone he's, crazy. His name's like, Sigma though. Your evidence is a video game character. Yeah, but it seems bad. <laughs> yeah. They're not like, oh, this is his backstory. And he listens to all the music and he's like, mm, yeah, I can study now. Like, no. Yeah, it's true. Fucking, Have they made a character that can't listen to music yet? No, nah, uh, there you go. Overwatch. That guy There's would your probably next go crazy. I wonder like if it is a condition that's happened to someone. There's plenty of people who don't listen to music ever. They go crazy. You'd have to have for a long time before we made music. What? You wouldn't before have music heard was music. Invented. 
Yeah, it's pretty a long time ago. The music's pretty impressive. I was talking about this with Holly. Yeah. Well, I listened to Taylor Swift at the cafe. So. Yeah. Oh, really? That's the music that made you go for music as a person? Well, I was just imagining explaining to someone, like, okay, you're just sitting and you're in the earth. Yeah. And you're like, we're going to use this earth to capture someone's voice, keep it very, very goodly. What? And then you, <laughs> the ca- you capture now their you gotta- voice. And then you can convert their voice across the planet in the air. Yeah. They now have the voice and then you just play it at whatever volume. It doesn't make Not sense. Just the voice, but like... Just with the, the earth, just with some metals. How does that work? Yeah, the, I mean, the technology is crazy, I think is the point. I don't know about the exactly. music being crazy, but the technology what is crazy. I monologue was about. But I, 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 I have thoughts like this occasionally been like, damn, the, all the things that let us be here and like exist in the platform we are now, like the fact that people can listen to this podcast right now. Like if you were just spawned on the earth, you wouldn't think you'd be able to do that. Jordan, you know the earth is capturing your voice right now? Apparently. And you guys are hearing it. And you know, like the plastic around this, like this microphone cable, it's made out of like ancient organisms melted down and turned into plastic. Whoa. That's grim for them. It sucks to be them, but you know. Eternal underdogs. We're (laughs) we're already in the past. If you're listening to this. Oh shit. We're already 12, 24, maybe a year into our futures. What's changed for you? Oh, time is fleeting. Yeah. Make a prediction about the future. I've lost a lot of weight. I'm fucking shredded. I have how far in the future is this? Three times the money (laughs) tomorrow. (laughs) Uh, I said a year. Okay, a year. Three three times the money. Damn. Are you low on funds at the moment? Um. No. Not <laughs> really. oh, so that's going to make not, it even harder I'm as well. I'm not I mean. high on funds. but So you're medium on funds. You're going to triple it. Oh, I haven't posted many videos this year. Yeah, so okay. It's so maybe low. So triple it. i got to start doing the Pobble One wheel. That oh, wheel. Oh, yeah. The old spin the wheel. It's a really good investment. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks, guys. What's your um, episode 100 prediction? Let's do them right now. Oh, all for the like, underdogs and see if we're this right. Like yeah. What I will be like. What on you? What, one 100? thing that will be happening in your life. That's so what's not that? Happening About now. a year, a bit under a year. Yeah, 40, 40 weeks. Yeah, so just yeah, probably beginning of next mm. year, basically. Count yeah. for maybe five weeks we miss. Yeah, and someone <laughs> save this because we'll probably forget. Yeah, and we we'll yeah, clip it. it and send it to us at episode one hundred. <laughs> yeah, clip it and ship it. Um, in one year, I will have had many successful variety videos, and everyone will be like, Zach, don't even post Smash Bros videos anymore. Oh, we love you. But I'll still post the occasional Smash Bros video. And then uh, that'll just <laughs> fuck be mostly the And they'll be like, fuck, I hate this shit. And you'll be like, gotta be done, bro. No, I'm covering all bases because I know a lot of people do like Smash videos, even if I want to branch out. I mean, I wouldn't say a lot. <laughs> Not nowadays. Less every day. <laughs> Less every day. And Steve will be banned from yep. everywhere. Ooh. That's my prediction. I think I'll be shorter. Yeah, probably. Like scientifically. Yeah, just a little bit. I think I've peaked height-wise. That makes sense. I right? don't intend to get any taller. Well, Gravity yeah, it can't It depends help. on how Unless you go upside how down. much you curve. Curve what? Yeah, real spines have curves. Like hunch, hunch spine. I do hunch a bit. Yeah, I don't see you shrinking like Don't size-wise. you have some kind of scoliosis as well? Yeah, like very, very mild, yes. Well, as you get older, it becomes less mild. Yeah. More, More spicy. Mild. No, oh, I see, yeah. yeah. <laughs> More mild. <laughs> All right, predictions? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so worldly. I'm going to be the wisest person. I'm going to be the new Dalai Lama. Are you going to have, have travelled? Uh, hopefully, yeah. Or be travelling. At least be travelling. By 100, gonna... you'll have travelled. So episodes like 70 to 85 are going to be our best. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, hopefully I'll be... Uh, we might be able to do remote stuff. We'll see how we go where, yeah. where we're doing that. But anyway, I'll be very worldly and wise. We'll just all travel together. Maybe I'll stop saying faked facts. What's the wisest thing you've learned? Uh, I always give Peter wisdom when he picks me up. In in future, after <laughs> travelling, the wisest thing that you are le- yet to learn. <laughs> the no the wisest thing that I don't know yet. Yeah. You want me to tell question. you? Good question. Fantastic, Fantastic question. question. In your own words. In your yeah, own words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it will be that <laughs> vitamins are good. No. Oh. Oh. Progression. Wow. Huge. That's vitamins are good. Fucking cap. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay. Here we go. Oh, uh, I'll we'll talk about it after Jordan's future prediction. All right. Um, mine will be, I'll be the strongest underdog. Whoa. I'll be so strong from Jiu-Jitsu. and I'll oh. have two stripes on my white belt. Whoa. And you know, you know how shredded I'm going to be. So you being the strongest, exactly. Is a it's a big yeah. call. It's a big call. Oh, yeah, it's me and you, crazy. Zach. Episode 100 is going to be a pop at two. No, nah. I'm going to be stronger too because I'll be slightly shorter. 
True, that Lowest makes you stronger. Yeah, wow. I guess you're the weakest underdog now. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's the weakest underdog. You're getting underdog. shredded. You're getting no, but he's stronger. Like he's vitamins, getting stronger. So he'll get stronger. Oh True. my Why god! Don't make you Which strong? vitamin <laughs> gives you muscle? That's muscles? what you think oh. now, Peter. <laughs> Protein That's what you muscle think now. vitamin. So I was at a uh, uh, gathering the other night, and people were talking about magnesium. Yeah. And I said, magnesium <laughs> is the fakest bullshit on the planet. What? No. No, I think magnesium is fake. I think it's because... What? What do you mean? Mum, can you message me and let me know? And then no, I can tell the boys next cramps, week. It's right? <laughs> no, I don't... I don't read it. Because it's well, like one of the electrolytes that you're, is in your cells and in your muscles. That's what this person said to me. And I was like, I was open to... You know, like changing my opinion. Really? But doesn't sound like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just I tried to change your opinion. You said, nap straight away. <laughs> I still think they're fake news. Well, you didn't let me explain myself. All right, go on. When I used to do the scans of people's bones, they would all come in and be like, oh, and I've been taking the magnesium. And that's literally on none, like no recommendations of anyone. And it's all these people thinking that magnesium is working wonders for them. But in this case, I knew for a fact... That it was not. You're like, you're looking at their scan. Their bones are fucking hollow. Like, I, got <laughs> I, my like, I got some bad fucking news for you. Imagine if you weren't yeah. taking it. So that was like, and then I've never heard about magnesium until I started that. Job. Really? I, I've always heard from people in like the Frisbee kind of sphere that if you get really bad, like muscle cramps, yeah. that you should have like a magnesium supplement around mm. the tournament. It's one of the things you sweat out, right? It'd be in your sweat, I would yeah, imagine. So I think you lose a lot if you... Oh, I sorry, no I know idea. you don't believe in this sack, but I think if you sweat out magnesium, you do need to re- replace yeah, it. Yeah, I've heard it's just a big thing on cramps for muscles. I don't yeah. know about bones, but I know muscle cramps. I've heard that, that magnesium is I've never something. heard about the Whoa. bones before. These people were talking about it as like a hangover cure. Oh, okay. Well, so that this is why. Yeah, this, is, this is why, like... I can't understand. So There's electrolytes in your brain. I, I would believe it too. There's a real reason so that you guys have given. But yeah, from my point of view, it's just like, oh, probably like... The least important one. Is of magnesium the least important. Uh, now, nah, cyanide, I reckon, probably less important for your health. But uh, What do you mean, less I important? I left that what? way too open ended. Least important. <laughs> yeah, what is the least important good thing? <laughs> Mental health. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely wrong. <laughs> it's like, it's going yeah. to be considered important, but the least important. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like vitamin yeah. K7 or something. I reckon vitamin K7 probably goes pretty hard. Damn. Respect. Um, I don't know. What the most? What's the least important? Important least thing. Least important. Mo- important it's, a, thing. it's a bad question. We can move on. <laughs> no, what, about, what about the queen? I we'll bring it full circle. Too yeah. good of the a queen is an important person, but yeah. they're not very important to running anything. Yeah. What's the? What about even just to you? Like, what's important to you, Jordan? <laughs> Holly. Yeah. My mum. Okay, okay. What's less important than that, but still important? Bonnie, the dog. And what's less important than that? Ooh, is there anything less probably important? Probably the lawn. Is that still the important? Lawn. Oh, the lawn. The lawn is pretty important. Yeah. Is that important? I don't think that's important. No, it it's, is important. It's pretty important because oh. it's like you can walk on it. And when it dies, it doesn't come back really easily. It's better to keep it stable than yeah. just to revive it. So is that the least important, most important thing in your life? It's up there. It's up there. It's up there in terms of what? As in terms of being low down. It's on down the there. Points. It's down it's there. Down in there. terms of things that are up there. Yeah. Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got it. Yeah. Smash Bros. Oh, no, that's very important, important for me. At all no, time. it's it's important for all of us, but then in oh, my yeah. life, would I say Smash is that important? For me, it is. Like, it, outside of YouTube? But I don't that know. is important. YouTube's that's, pretty that important. important. That's oh, your job. Yeah, I guess. But like, that's quite an important, important thing. <laughs> I think Lawn's going lower. Yeah, I think Lawn is well, lower. I don't think Lawn is important. I've come full circle. Well, why do you keep your grass green in the backyard then? <laughs> Have you seen it? That's true. <laughs> I don't think he's trying to do anything there. That's Keep true. Keep your grass green. That's a good one, Peter. I mean, that was an attempt at some point. <laughs> that grass is more brown than Poppet's pants. <laughs> poo clown. They are very dirty today. He has a really good to town with the shitting. Um, yeah, it's all poo. Didn't Audio I know listeners, his a, pants are covered in poo. There's been a lot of dogs barking. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson, do you have an le- le- unimportant, important thing? I'm trying to think. I think Smash Bros. is up there for me. Um, Smash Bros. is more likely for you. Although underdogs. No, it's still important, else. but it's very... But you can play Mario Kart. But surely... Yeah. And I could, I, if I forgot how to play Smash Bros. Lawn? No, I don't have lawn. Oh, okay. That's tough. Then. That must be it. That's tough. <laughs> Lack if of you weeds. you don't have lawn, how do you even answer the question? Lack, Lack of, of weeds. Yeah, you know, weeds in the house. That's important to me, not having too many weeds. Okay, I'll in, the in the house. Outside, sorry. Okay, outside. On the outside of the house. of the house, the lack of weeds is important. Yeah. Yeah. But not that important. Doing the weeding. Yeah, I agree. I want people to answer this in the comments because no. this is like... A weed's good. This is like, there's got to be a good answer. 
I think the least important important thing to me is separating uh, washing colors. Oh, that's up there for oh, me. Well. That's important. No, you, yeah, but it's not important. Now just put it on the cold. Once, oh, once, once you get stung, you'll never do it. It hasn't again. happened yet, so it's not important to me. No, but do you do cold? I think if you do cold, it I do doesn't cold, matter. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it cold. never blends. Chad with the cold. Yeah. 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 I don't use no energy, bro. I just don't smell like shit. It's also, fine. it doesn't shrink your clothes. Jordan, you might need to do a warm wash with these shitty pants, though. Yeah, I think so. They're, shit pants. Yeah. Uh, should we move on to Jackson's little game? Do we do everyone's Would You Rather? No, we haven't done everyone's Could You Rather. It's because I didn't think of one. Oh, oh. Should we move on to Jackson's? Would you rather have Zach on the I podcast or not? Just come up with one. I could have gotten away with it too. I mean, nice mine's try. just like, is there music or not? It can't, yeah. Did you have one, Jackson? Um, what? Would, would yeah, you I did mine. Oh, Ostrich. sorry. Ostrich egg. How could you forget? Egg. Would you rather be a cockroach or a worm? Oh, cockroach. God. Oh, cockroaches. Why? Well, like they have way better sensory organs, so you can experience more of the world. Yeah, worm. You got a oh, shit. Okay. oh, you've changed my mind. And worm, you like to dig. Well, you you have be to worm. I was going to be worm. Face. What was, was the reasoning behind worm? Seems chill. No, it doesn't. I mean, like you're cockroach. a worm. You're in dirt. Let's go further. Smash your face to dig. You don't even have hands. I don't think they're moving at such a speed that they smash their face. They, that's the only way they can dig. They got no hands. <laughs> Slow <laughs> down, worm. <laughs> imagine being, Imagine <laughs> having your whole life is you have to dig and you have no hands. It's so annoying. <laughs> worm <laughs> design <laughs> flaw. So bad. I'm just imagining Jordan as a worm speeding around <laughs> the back garden. That's Cock- all mulch for you, sir. Cockroaches get fucking stomped as soon as someone sees them though. You do yeah. get poisoned and like, shit as you well. You are trying to, get to play out. Skyrim sneak without getting caught your whole life. Yeah, but you're way more slippery dippery than a worm who but just worms gets eaten by a bird. Oh, yeah, they, they, are. they get worms eaten by lizards, they get eaten by, they're by they're birds, they get eaten by like every other insect. No, I'm staying on the ground. I reckon a cockroach lives longer on average than a worm. <laughs> oh, but what if you get so lucky you get in a worm farm and you're just hanging out with all your buddies? <laughs> you're just like eating all these scraps. Oh, of- hell oh, yeah. yeah. It's so okay. Jordan's so- like, wait, what if you hit the jackpot? That's a jackpot. Worm farm, baby. There's no jackpot for cockroaches. No, is living in a worm farm as well. That's actually oh, jackpot. A cockroach yeah, in a worm farm. Love it, is that probably. a thing? No, I don't know. <laughs> probably. <Somewhere>. No. <laughs> what? Does, no. What if you're a cockroach on a Japanese game show? In yeah. here and they blow each other? <laughs> 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 I don't think I understand so the, the game. The cockroaches blow each no, other. No, no, they blow you the, co- the oh, they cockroach. You hit the jackpot. They blow the cockroach. Have a cockroach hold the roach. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, hold the yeah, roach. Yeah, I think it worm. I think you've convinced me because there's an off chance you're just living in luxury. Nah, you Japanese blow game each other. Did you see the clip I posted of Jordan saying we're oh, just yeah. blowing each other? <laughs> oh my god! What do you even mean? Okay, can you explain this Japanese game show? When you know, they have the big pipe between them and they blow. There's a cockroach in the middle, oh, and, and they like try. A, yeah, they used to play it with pool noodles. and it goes in their mouth. Used to play it with yeah. pool noodles yeah, with you put, water. You put uh, pool water in it. Oh, oh yeah. did anyone drown? Probably no, not. It's not like that this much. Water. Wait, you didn't piss in it? No, no. Wait, what? <laughs> in the pool noodle. Dick's too big. Do cockroaches hang out with other cockroaches? Yeah. They must, but Someone's you never see it. Someone's got to have a cockroach farm somewhere. Yeah, yeah, because people freaking have zillions of them in like labs. And you got to get them somehow. What are they for? Cockroaches. Yeah, what do they do? They're annoying, man. They can I think they do a lot. What do humans do? Well, people say like the food chain, everything's got its role. Yeah, Ours is obviously I mean, I like Google to it. fucking kill everything. Oh, you mean like take over the planet? Pe- bees like pollinate plants and exactly. stuff. Exactly. What and do like cockroaches worms do? Worms chew up the ground for plants. Like... What are cockroaches They doing? seem to just scatter when I turn the kitchen light on. It's a bit of a misnomer <laughs> to think that everything in nature has a purpose. No, I think it does. Uh, yeah, but like... I reckon you can Google it right now. No, but like what the purpose implies that someone made it for a reason instead of it just yeah, existing. God. Okay. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Yep. Here's a better question. God moment. Why yeah, did why cockroaches did, evolve the with their specific set of skills? Because they're good at surviving. Is that all they do? They survive? That's what all fuck? animals do. Yeah. It's but, yeah, but like dragonfly... What do the cockroaches eat? They're really good at scavenging and yeah. hiding and, you know, not getting eaten by stuff. Right, I'm just thinking, like, because they don't have any tools to, like, eat other things. Oh, dude, there are way more useless animals out there where you just look at them and you go, how the fuck did Give you me one. get here? Sunfish. I like the sunfish. Giant sunfish. No, they're sick. They they evolved to not have a fucking tail anymore. But at least... What's a, describe a sunfish in less than five seconds. It's about... It's, like, four meters wide. It's like a giant dinner plate with an eyeball and a mouth. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, that sounds bad. No, but they at least I uh, bring me joy. So at least they're doing something. Have you seen giant sea slugs? Yeah. They're fucking huge. They're like four meters long. Yeah, Cockroaches how did you probably get eat ants. No. Give it a go- is, are you Googling Jackson? Ants probably yeah, eat cockroaches. Yeah. I think the better question is how many ants could take a cockroach in a fight. Yeah. Oh, it would have to be a lot. Cockroaches are pretty... How many pretty ants would it take to blow Sorry, a cockroach? Sorry, what am I Googling? A lot of questions. What's the point of cockroaches? 
You say it would have to be a lot of ants to take down a cockroach, but you're the man that said they would beat a tiger? Yeah, with a lot of them. <laughs> so a lot more. Yeah, a lot. Think of how many cockroaches it, just it how could beat a work. tiger. It's quantity over How many quality. cockroaches could beat a tiger, Jordan? How many cockroaches could beat a tiger? Do you mean how many would need to beat a tiger? Or like, yeah, in a fight. Because any individual cockroach probably well, could cockroaches not beat don't a- have any weaponry. They play an extremely important bite. role in nutrient cycling. That so makes sense, go. yeah. They're scavengers. Mm. And then birds and stuff would eat them, and then they just turned like rotting stuff into something a bird can eat. Out? No, that's enough cockroach propaganda. I don't like propaganda. Him. Yeah, they I probably made hear, that up. Those bloody cockroaches. Think about positive. like what? Like you know, think about like uh, a virus. Not that it's part of like uh, it's not technically living, but think about a virus, and you go, "What is this?" Maybe that's to stop anyone us. to op. It's like. Things have to do things for us. They don't. They don't exist yeah. for a reason. You know, they just exist. I was more like, what are cockroaches even doing for themselves? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good question. You know, no, they, but all you know, kind of work off on being touching surfaces. Yeah, when they in like the slimmest what? crack, it makes them horny. The more, like, the more a cockroach's body is like touching everywhere around it, is that the more true? they like. It's like they, it makes them happy. I feel like that if you <laughs> really? like, wrap me up like a burrito in bed. I like that. Yeah, you're a lot. bit of a cockroach, yeah. I don't know if I get necessarily horny and you know, gobbling like a minion, but I just like <laughs> <laughs> it does make me feel good. That's a great mental picture of Jackson wrapped up like a burrito in bed, just <laughs> fucking mumbling like a minion. It's a completely cylinder except a little poking little penis. <laughs> oh. Erect penis. Oh god. Thanks um, for leaving nothing to the imagination, yeah, Jackson. Well, it's actually a big penis. Um, My mum <laughs> listens to this podcast. Yeah, so does mine. Okay, it's small. Okay, it's small. Well, mine doesn't listen. <laughs> Alright, should we send this clip to her? Mm, if you want <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what does your son do for work? Well, check this clip out. Okay, now I know this has been a pretty gross podcast. Surely. <laughs> it's been there's been some pretty unhinged things on this pod. But what if we got a really large cauldron? Yeah. And you can like sort of see where cauldron. I'm going. And with everyone this. spits in it. Think lower than spit. Okay. And then we surely we get all of that. Okay. And you know how there's like billions of sperm in the thing? Oh, right. I thought you were well talking about then, poo. Okay. Well, then you, you <laughs> mix it. Is this better it, or worse? You mix it all together and then you worse. get all of it and someone needs a sperm donor. And then you just let the sperm the fight ultimate it out. sperm. Yeah, because the best one will win. So what? She opens up her vagina and they pour a cauldron full of sperm <laughs> in. All right, we don't know what you're going to get here. Just uh, It's going to take about four weeks. Uh, um, and there's a lot of sperm. Uh, we I don't know. didn't we, say we that. Think, we think it's different. But I was talking about like a sperm bank <laughs> situation of <laughs> someone that say? wants to have a baby. In a cauldron. Like it's a brew from a witch. There's, there's three and a half billion people. We're going to need a large container. Oh, so you're getting everyone in the world. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, how do we find the best? You're going to need a swimming pool. And then get all the eggs. Throw them yeah. in, yeah. superhuman <laughs> race. <laughs> Fuck. Forget AI. Whatever's coming out of that swimming pool is going to take over the world. Maybe we should do that and everyone else kills themselves and we just have a new race. We start <laughs> fresh. That's how Adam, we Adam, start again. Adam and Eve. New law just dropped yeah, about the that's, human race. It was, a bit, it was a smaller cauldron, but same thing <laughs> hey, with Jesus. Hey, Jordan, I've got the cauldron. Shit a couple ostrich eggs into it. <laughs> <laughs> Tori, you can so fucking like stir it like a witch, just standing um, over the fuck. Holy so shit. yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm since, good though. Since we're all a bit silly, should we move on to our slam poetry to finish off? Yeah. yeah I just, don't understand what so this is. Still, we were like, hey, what do you want to talk about the podcast? And I don't know why Zach said, do you want to do slam poetry? But here we are. Maybe we had our rhymes in our brain from a diss track. Yeah. We were just listening to it. Um, and Jordan didn't know what slam poetry was, and I barely know. So okay, I think confidence is key. Yep. I yep. also don't know. I'll go first. Can someone explain it for the audience? Because if three oh, of us yeah. don't know, I assume That's a fair. lot of people okay, don't slam know. poetry is basically largely improvised, but it can be written poetry delivered um, by one person in front of a microphone, usually with quite a lot of uh, emotion. It's portrayed. like stand-up comedy rapping, Yeah, but weirdly cringe. I it don't think it's to be cringe. funny. Really? No. I think it's weird, weird, like to be as a social situation. I don't oh, know. 100%. I'm not but bored. So is stand up comedy when you think about yeah, it. Yeah, I guess so. It's not really that much different. I mean, maybe I'm just not into it. You're just trying to make people feel <laughs> emotions rather than laugh, I guess. Oh, so wow. you can make people laugh. That's I okay. I feel like what emotions should, are you going to give us? We should give you some kind of topic. Okay. For like. Well, Otherwise, where do you go with it? I was going to talk about Jordan's groupers, but we can do That's good. That's a good topic. Should we all do that about that? No, that'll get a bit old. Just one. There you go. That's a good one. <clears throat> Can someone like say it? All right. Uh, it's very solemn. Yeah, is, yeah. It, is this thing on? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. Uh, next up on 
the uh, famous Underdogs podcast stage coming at you live for their first time ever doing slam poetry. We have Jackson Shmuel Cogger. <laughs> Welcome on, guys. Give a big round of yeah. applause. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh. Give us emotions. <laughs> Dirty grippers. I see the feet. Looking beneath me. Dirt on wheat. Don't look at me. Look at Jordan's feet and let him greet from sitting in his seat. Thank you. Is that how it works? <laughs> I, that's I, all? I'm, I'm too far away from the applause again, but maybe that's a good <laughs> thing. <laughs> Wrong button! Jackson's Wrong button. hit the... I no. meant to click wow and I clicked fail. Oh, Jackson's well. hit the fail noise button. That sucks. Anyway, dirty groupers. Uh, we can, wow. We can go on couch order. I can go uh, on I thought you were going to say if we I, can move on. I'll introduce you. Wait, I need I need a topic. Um, uh, I think you should talk about uh, your favorite plant. Okay. And here is Zach Trahan talking about his favorite plant. The, the yellow one on the yeah, left. Yeah, I'm not starting till I get my applause. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The audience were like, <laughs> they were really excited, but not yet. Monstera. I could stare at you for hours, but you will never be ours because of my dog. My dog cannot eat you. My cat cannot eat you, so I cannot see you. Monstera, how could you? How could you be so toxic to my doggy and my kitty? It's really shitty. I want you in a pot. I want you in my house, but I cannot... And it makes me sad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was all true. <laughs> true spin story. facts, spin facts, bro. Bro. That was good. The emotion. That was really good. Yeah. I was wow. missing the emotion. It was cl- close to my heart. Monstera and Fiddly Fig. Oh, me, and Matt, me and Maddie are like, oh, those plants look sick. And yeah. then they're all the no- the toxic ones. Yep. I think you may rhyme the word you with itself five times in a row, though. That's all right. Uh, hey, hey, we're not going to criticise. We're here to Sorry, it's, my, yeah, it's a safe place. Zach does a amazing place. Please guess mine up. <laughs> yeah, Peter. Uh, Actually, you can't I'm here my fucking <laughs> critic book for you, Peter. Zach's going to heckle me during my <laughs> slam poetry. No, no, I love the constructive criticism. All right, ready? I'll introduce <laughs> you. Or do you want to introduce <laughs> him, Zach? Like, I'll do it. That was oddly... Uh, I'll introduce right. him. Uh, do I have a topic? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Don't give it to Zach. He's going to stitch me up. You like coffee a lot, right? What about different types of coffee? Yep. Okay, I can talk about something, coffee. Something coffee related. And here he is, Peter Hopcat Waggy Boy Horn. <laughs> Never give him the soundboard again. Yeah, this was a mistake. <laughs> Still kicking. Settle away. down, guys. Settle down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, you're good. <coughs> <coughs> when that sweet taste touches my lips it only takes one or two sips before i'm drowning in the taste of coffee it's not free it's costly i love it the taste of that sweet brown not the poppet kind of brown i'm talking about that sweet delicious bean i'm a fiend i love those coffee beans in my mouth they're found in south america mostly i love coffee i'll you'll never stop me it's my addiction it's, it's not a fiction. This is a fact right here. That's it. I'm dropping the mic. I'm out of here. Whoa. Wow. That was very good. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm taking the soundboard off you. Jordan, do you have a topic? No. Um, I thought you guys were coming up with topics. Well, yeah, we can. Everyone did that before. I'm, I'm trying to help you out here. Dirty you were, jeans is your topic. Dirty jeans. Dirty what, jeans. A, what about leaving your phone in the washing machine? That yeah, might that would get a, a lot of emotion from you, right? Yeah. Okay. Washing machine. I don't understand how you got your your brain to just keep thinking. Oh, anyway, right. go on. There's no wrong answers, Jordan. Jordan. It's all, all right, confidence. All right. Phone. And here he phone is. in the washing machine. Poppet one, uh, renamed poet one, for this performance of his bad day. Oh my gosh, is that my phone in the wash? It is, it is. God damn it. I tried to get it out, but 
I was all about doing it the wrong way until one day, the same day, I opened the door and guess what I saw? <laughs> My phone. <laughs> You've slowly died on me, not working as much as I plea. But now I look at my phone and I can't believe how much you've grown into a not working phone. Thank you. That was great. That was great, <laughs> Jordan. Just the applause. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I have to say, I'm very pleasantly surprised, Jordan. Don't know what you had to be nervous about. Wow, thank We've you. We've got to make him improvise about specific things that happened <laughs> in his life and he's good to go. All right, should we do? Should we do one more round and we can make the another thumps? round? Just while I'm on the soundboard, can someone say something like out of pocket or funny? Um, um <laughs> say something funny. Peter's told us to do. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Jordan poos his pants. <laughs> it is always funny. sorry, sorry, man. Oh, sorry, say again. What he poos his pants? Oh, yeah, um, I, I think we do one more slam poetry round because those were a little bit short. We should do. Uh, sorry, guys. We I should do get, it in I don't, teams. I don't get to use the soundboard very we often. We should do it in teams, like teams line, by line, line by line, line by line. Right, yeah. What if we do like a slam poetry diss war against like me and you, Jackson? We'll diss those two. All right. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Roasts. Yeah. So wait, do we take? Do we do one line at a time? Yes. Yeah, so do I have you, to be on Jordan's are, team? Yeah. So you you <laughs> should play second because the first is the easiest. Jordan was good, man. Okay. All right. Ready. Thanks, Zach. Um, and this so wait, is we're doing wait, so you're dissing us. Yeah, so I'll set you up and you knock them down. So wait, I have to think of a rhyme for every yeah. line. That, that's not... That's <laughs> surely not... Okay, okay. And this is Zach and Jackson uh, talking about Peter and Jordan. <coughs> I look across from my couch. And my eyeballs say ouch. <sighs> Fire coming out my ass. <laughs> when I Who see... <laughs> Because when I see them, I will pass. Across from me is history. I've known them for way too long for me. <laughs> Jackson has an easy job, doesn't he? <laughs> Just fucking <laughs> set Jordan, up. it looks like an orange. <laughs> <laughs> and he almost broke my door hinge. <laughs> what a classic. Um... Peter's hair look like wig. And his penis is probably not very big. So it's that I ask of you... That you ignore these two baboons. And think about the others. Your mother-loving brothers, Zach and Jackson, under the covers. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> All right, well done. Oh, hard oh, to Peter follow Geiger. that. <laughs> hard to follow that. I reckon we nailed it. All right, Jordan, all I ask from you here, right? Yeah. You don't have to think of the rhymes, right? If I'm going second. Okay, okay. Just deliver all your lines with like an insane amount of passion. Yeah. Because yeah. it doesn't matter what you say, but like you've got to do it with sauce. All right, Yeah, all you right. can say anything. You can say anything. So you'd be like, Jackson is shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you okay, know, you, okay. It doesn't have to be even be clever. What right. if you guys don't do a diss track? You guys do. You pop. Yeah. Up. Nice fucking try. Yeah. yeah nice you're getting try. Oh, right yeah. Maybe next week if Slam Poetry gets a round two on the pod. Oh, yeah. This has been fun. Weekly segment. And performing their next piece will be Excited Jordan and Peter. <laughs> no, no cheer sound effect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who are these little two dicked pipsqueaks? <laughs> Catch them at the circus because they're called the freaks. And at the circus is where they stay. <laughs> uh, I would call you a slur that's no longer, you're no longer allowed to say. <laughs> that's good. And what is on the top of their head? Mm, it might look, make their head look like a big old loaf of bread. And bread goes mouldy just like their personality. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> this mouldy bread is of terrible quality. Just like the quality of their talking ability. <laughs> <laughs> They're so stupid they don't understand the visibility. I wish I they had no visibility. Then I, I wouldn't I be able to <laughs> Then I wouldn't be able to see them.
<laughs> we should go to Slam This all feels now. like a bad dram. <laughs> That's not how we're ending this. Oh, <laughs> I c- <laughs> you can say anything. Come on, man. You got this. Oh my god, you remind me of toads. Well, I'm just glad that we don't have to see your tiny little toads. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Bam. Bam. It's not. It's not banging. It's not working. Yeah, there, yeah, we, go, there, there we go. Um. Oh. So let the us giggles. know if you want more slam poetry. <laughs> they do. <laughs> I think. Uh, and well, what was I, better, individual or teams? Uh, oh, you know, you got to tell us who won. Yeah. Who won the? Who diss won? <laughs> Who's next? I you gotta decide. say, John, like Peter said, say whatever you want, and I'll rhyme with it. But fucking <laughs> terrible visibility is so what? Have all your best probability. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look, I wasn't thinking about the rhyming part. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Those are the orders. A true <laughs> test. A true test. <laughs> all right. Was uh, that I think everything? that's just about it for this week. Uh, um, you know what you could do, actually? You could leave a five-star review on iTunes. Oh, that'll, yeah. That'll really help us. And we will be personally reading out some of the iTunes five-star reviews. All of them if we don't get too many. But, you know, otherwise we'll just choose the best. But please... That'll really help us. Oh yeah. Also, we're gonna link all the all the platforms because there's a lot of things called underdog podcast and underdog blankety blank blank. Mm. So you probably can't find us by searching. I know it's a bit late to say this at the end of the pod. <laughs> it's not gonna be easy to search for us and, until we hit the big time. Yeah. Until then. But for now, use our links to find it. Otherwise yep. it might be a little tough. Yeah, and go and listen on Spotify. Or whatever audio platform you choose. Thank and you. that's it. Thank you for tuning into another great episode of the Underdogs Podcast. Welcome not welcome. That's, no, not stop, welcome. That's the welcome. It's the intro. Oh, we changed the one over. Oh, Jackson, Never let Jackson gonna, on the soundboard Jackson, again. You're just going to have to stop Just the, press a different one. Just stop the recording. Just, stop the recording. just press a different yeah. one and then... Oh, what the my stop, ears stop just the exploded. All right. Bye, everyone. Sorry about that. Yeah, just... <laughs> yeah. What was that? Hey,